Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel y'all. Welcome back to Gemini Empress Tarot. We are going to be doing a reading for the sign of Gemini. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Any negative energies being sent to me or my platform will be returned to the original sender, as well as any positive energy being sent to my platform will also be returned. I pray that you have overall health, abundance, support, financial success, okay? Healing of any ailments, also any blockages that are stopping you from moving forward, removed out of your pathway. I also pray for your enlightenment and insight and awareness, okay? So Gemini, uh, first and foremost, I do have a few announcements. We are still, ha we still have seats available for our, our October Spiritual Protection Course. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you click the link and sign up. Also, the personal readings are still open until... Um, until I close them out. So if you are interested in booking your personal reading, make sure you click the link to book as I don't know when I will be closing them, but it probably will be like within the next couple of weeks, I will be closing them off. So once I close off the personal readings, you guys will have to wait until next year, sometime in 2025, more than likely in the fall as well to rebook with me. Okay. So if you're interested, you may want to get your spot now. Um, also, if you're watching from YouTube, you're only going to get the first 10 minutes of this reading. You will not get the full um, message. The full message will be on Discord or Patreon. I, on, I only offer two memberships, which is a monthly and an annual membership. And the annual membership will always be 50% off. And you can find that on Discord. All right, Gemini, getting into the messages. First and, for, for, first and foremost... I'm still picking up the energy of someone that is basically jealous that whatever you manifest comes true and whatever they manifest don't come true. <sighs> Must I repeat myself? <laughs> you have to be in pure energy to manifest first and foremost. You can't just, I don't know. Somebody basically is saying that you get whatever you want or you know how to, maybe you guys are master alchemist, okay? You could be using um, a specific talent and or skill that you have to manifest, all right? And someone's just jealous of that. Don't know why. I'm also getting something about dolphins, all right? Or something about the sea. Some of you guys, you may need to meditate near bodies of water, okay? To raise your vibration, raise your frequency. Definitely getting something about your third eye, which is your sixth chakra. It represents inside awareness. It helps you connect to your, um, it helps you connect to your intuition as well as your higher self. Okay, some of you guys could be clairaudient, clairvoyant, things of that nature, clairsentient. It's just a lot of things. Like somebody knows you're mysterious. They know you're mystical. They know you have some type of spiritual ability. They know that you can manifest almost anything you want on this planet and someone's jealous of that because they can't okay maybe if you were not such an, a, a dirty spirit you will be able to manifest okay all right let's see what's happening for gemini what's happening here so basically someone's blaming you for them being unfit to manifest the universe is only going to respond to certain energies so they can already read your soul they can already the universe can already read your intentions you're just trying to manifest so you can compete with the next person or show people what you have you know kind of like be in this cocky energy let's see we have the Six of Pentacles, material and spiritual prosperity. I told you. You guys could be coming into like some type of new wealth, new finances, okay? I'm telling you, something has to do with your material world. Someone knows that your material world, whatever you have, your house, your car, 
is connected to the ability of you knowing how to manifest. It says material and spiritual prosperity, okay? Also, somebody knows that you're rich in spirit. Please help these lost children. They are so lost. There is no competition. You could be finally receiving what you deserve, Gemini, in a situation. Okay. Something could be changing with your sixth house as well. Your sixth house is Virgo energy. It talks about routine. Um, it talks about your job, your life's work. Okay. So this is, here's the thing. Whoever is jealous of you, Gemini, they don't want to put in the work. They don't want to put in the work that it takes to gain spiritually and materially. Also, we talked about this. All of the realms respond to each other. So not only are you guys high ranking in the 5D, which is the spiritual world, okay? Not only are you prosperous in that realm, you're also prosperous in the 3D. Every, every realm you walk into, you have. Whether it's material or whether it's spiritual, you're showing up as the same energy in all realms. You're, you are officially aligned, Gemini, or you are about to be. Okay. Look at how this person is just so content with what he he or she has built. He it looks like he's standing in the back of a mansion looking over his garden, okay? Looking over the fruits of his labor. Watching the sunset. Okay? This is abundance. This is like giving me, you know, early retirement vibes. Okay? Gemini, just know you can have it all. You can have it all if you really wanted it. If you really want it, we have honesty and trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. We have honesty. I can always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. This is somebody that you can see. That's another thing. You, Somebody here is very pure. They're honest. They're trustworthy. And I said this last night, it's almost like money or the frequency of coins or gold. Trust you because of you being honest, your intentions being true and pure. <sighs> What's happening for Gemini? Honesty and truth. I feel like no matter what, Gemini, you're always going to speak the truth. You're always going to be honest. It doesn't matter how other people feel about you or the situation. You are always going to tell it how it is. And guess what? The universe responds to an energy like that. Because guess what? You're not intentionally hurting someone. You're telling them the God honest truth. That's why they call it the God honest truth. It's a reason why that saying... That, it's a reason why people say that saying. <laughs> it's not to hurt your feelings. I'm telling you the truth. Clean up your energy and you'll be able to manifest. There's no point in hating on Gemini because you can't manifest. What's happening for Gemini? We have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Some of you guys could have built something on your own, whatever this empire is. And see how he's like standing over like a body of water. I'm not sure if you guys can see that because my blinds are like seeping through. Let me cut this up. Can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see, but he's like standing over his balcony looking over a lake or a pond. Some of you guys are going to end up having like a beach house or... You're gonna end up having like a property or this is this is your home. You're gonna end up having a home that faces like a waterfront. Something has to do with water or you guys need to meditate near water, okay? You are building this on your own. Whatever you have, you got on your own, Gemini. 
And there's nobody that can take it from you. Nobody on this walking earth. And that's the God on the truth. They can try. They can try to distract you. They can try to tempt, tempt you. Okay? They can try to stray you down the wrong path. But at the end of the day, what's yours is yours. As long as you go after it with pure intentions as well. Okay? We have the Seven of Swords. Deception and Envy. <laughs> we have power at the bottom. So let me guess. Someone has to lie, cheat, still to get what they want. You don't. This could be a Leo, an Aquarius, a Virgo. Somebody has to lie, cheat, steal, run off on people, lie on people, create smear campaigns. This is the Seven of Swords. Okay, they have to deceive other people. Um, basically, whatever someone has that's jealous of you, because remember we talked about jealousy, right? Deception and envy is here. So whether it's envy, jealousy, it's kind of similar anyway. So whatever it is, this person could also have, they could also have power, but guess what they have to do to get it? <laughs> they have to do the seven of swords to get whatever they have, whether it's a house, a car, money, friends, a job. They literally had to steal, deceive people, lie on people. Literally everything they have is from the seven of swords. And we all know we are in the age of Aquarius. So the people that's been lying, cheating, stealing to get power, they're falling from grace. Hollywood is a prime example of that. If you had to be in the seven of swords, I don't care what industry you're in, whether it's the entertainment, the music business, Hollywood, piping industry, oil industry, beauty, cosmetic, food, industrial, it don't fucking matter. If you had to do the seven of swords to get it, you will fall before 2025. Your time is coming. So this is somebody that they didn't even, like I keep saying this, they didn't even do something with pure intentions. And now they're mad at you because you, has, you have done something from a pure. So basically someone's mad because you don't have to run off on people to get something. That's essentially what this is. You don't have to lie. You don't have to cheat. You don't have to steal. They do. Jealous of pure energy. I've never, I never thought I would do a reading like this. Jealous of material prosperity. Jealous of spiritual prosperity or you having a rich spirit jealous of that because you don't have to lie you don't have to cheat you don't have to use deception or greed or envy or jealousy to get ahead they do this person is also never alone they're always with people this person's never alone they need to go in hermit mode they're always with somebody. They're very codependent. They always have people around them, whoever this is, that's jealous of you. This is somebody that can't even look in the mirror. They always wear a mask too. They probably don't even know themselves. They just know themselves through running off on people, through being jealous, envious, deceiving. They've deceived so much for a majority of their life that they don't even know who they are. They think the mask of them is their self. They don't even know who they are. They need to go into hermit mode and dig deep, do a dark night of the soul to really figure out who they are. Always around people, always with the group, or this is somebody that can't be alone. They are dependent on something. It could even be a substance. I mean... You know, substances can, can cloud their mind. You know what I'm saying? It can make you think things that are not real. So I would say this person needs to get clean, right? Instead of being jealous. It's a cold world. 
What's happening for Gemini? We got the Knight of Wands with the Temperance. Something about a Sagittarius. There's some type of exciting new adventure that's coming into your life, Gemini. Speaking of the Hermit. <laughs> so this could be a Sagittarius that's jealous of you or it's somebody that has Sagittarius or Aquarius highly aspected. This person could even be jealous of your love life. Knight of Wands represents a new partner, sexual partner. <laughs> no, baby, you need help, whoever this is. What is the Knight of Wands temperance? What is the Knight of Wands temperance for Gemini? 